Looking for a cozy and delicious comfort food dish that'll satisfy all of those cravings? Then join me today as I cook up this delicious creamy chicken and mushroom casserole. It'll leave you with a lovely warm feeling and make sure you're completely satisfied. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Now today I'm going to be cooking a creamy chicken and mushroom casserole from my book It's All About Dinner. It's the ultimate comfort food dish that's sure to please the entire family. We've got tender chicken, earthy mushrooms and a lovely creamy sauce. A fantastic combination of rich flavours and textures. So let's get cooking. Now I've got about a kilo, which is about two and a quarter pounds of diced chicken breasts here. It's about five chicken breasts all together. And to that, I'm going to add 45 grams, which is about six tablespoons of plain all-purpose flour, plus half a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. We're going to toss that all together until the coating completely covers the chicken. Then into a pan, we want to add two tablespoons of oil and heat it over a high heat. Then we're going to add that chicken into the pan. Working in about two or three batches, we're just going to brown off that chicken. So once that chicken's browned, transfer it to a bowl and then we'll repeat with the second batch. You could add an extra splash of oil if you think it needs it. Transfer that second batch into the bowl with the first batch. So that's the chicken seal. Now don't worry, it doesn't need to be cooked through at this point, it'll cook through in the sauce. So let's get on with making that sauce. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of unsalted butter to the pan that we cook the chicken in. We don't wanna lose any of that delicious flavor. And then we're gonna add three medium onions that have been peeled and finely diced, along with five minced cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of dried thyme, and half a teaspoon of celery salt that together for about five to ten minutes until the onion is nice and soft. Now once those onions are nice and soft we're going to add in another 25 grams which is about three tablespoons of plain all-purpose flour and stir it all together until thoroughly combined. Then we're going to add in about a litre or four and a quarter cups of chicken stock. We'll pour it in slowly while stirring with the whisk to make sure there's no lumps. Once that stock's been completely incorporated, we're gonna add in 300 ml, which is about one and a quarter cups of milk. You can use full fat or half fat milk for this and stir it together. Now I'm gonna keep heating that through while stirring until that sauce comes to a gentle boil and it should thicken as it comes to a gentle boil. Next in goes two tablespoons of lemon juice, which is about the juice from one lemon. plus 20 chestnut mushrooms that have been thickly sliced. We're also gonna add in those lovely chunky chicken pieces from earlier, along with half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. And then stir it all together. Your dish will probably be quite full by this point, so stir it together carefully. Now bring everything back up to a simmer again and place a lid on the pan. Now we're gonna let that simmer gently for about 20 minutes until that sauce has thickened slightly and the chicken is lovely and tender. Now this chicken and mushroom casserole is one of 100 recipes in my book, It's All About Dinner. And if you haven't had a chance to check out the book yet, there's a QR code for every single recipe in the book, which will take you straight through to a video where I talk you through the recipe step by step, every step of the way. So if you love my YouTube videos, then you're gonna absolutely love this book. Now we're gonna remove the lid and then for an extra bit of creaminess, we're gonna add in 240 ml, which is about a cup of double or heavy cream. This is optional because the dish is quite creamy already, but it really adds a lovely luscious touch. And we'll stir all that together and let it bubble for about another five minutes to heat through the cream. I love to serve this on top of a pile of mashed potato along with some green veg and finished off with a sprinkling of chopped parsley. This recipe is perfect if you're looking for a hearty and flavourful meal to enjoy on a chilly day. 
It's All About Dinner, it's available now and I'll leave a link below so you can pick up your copy. And I just want to take a moment to thank you if you've already bought a copy and if you've made the recipes too. Chris and I really appreciate you. See you next time.